أكبر الله. Then we have a very interesting story where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes mention of when Ibrahim alayhi salam went back to his wife Sarah, the other wife that he had had, and he was a very, very, very generous person, Ibrahim alayhi salam. So there came a time when some visitors visited him and he didn't know them. Three people came in, good looking people. When they came in, he asked his wife, do you know them? No, we don't. Okay. He looks at them and he wanted to serve them something. So he went back into the house and he asked his wife, is there anything to eat? She says, well, we've got a little bit of meat here. He says, no, let's slaughter a calf, a nice fat calf we find at the back there. A whole cow, meaning a baby cow is known as a calf. So he says, let's slaughter the calf. He slaughtered it and he ordered his servants to cook it and on the spit properly. And they brought the whole calf for how many people? Three people. There were just three of them. Look at how hospitable he was. He wanted to give these people food. So he brought this and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of this. When these people came, he greeted them with salam. They responded with the salam. In a short while, he came with a whole calf. He put it forward. When he saw these people are not eating. I came with a calf. It's cooked so well. It's a top meal. MashaAllah. I want to honor my guests. I don't even know them. And here they are. They're not eating. So he started eating a little bit in order to try and encourage them. But he'd seen these people are not eating and he began to tremble in a bit of fear. Not to say that I'm scared, you know, of these people doing something to me. But what's wrong with these people? Are these actually people? He sensed something amiss. Something was wrong. So immediately he told him, hey, you know what? I'm starting to get a doubt. What, who are you here? You know, what's happening here? I've got this feeling within me. So they said, don't fear Ibrahim. We are not human beings. We are angels. Don't fear Ibrahim. We are not human beings. We are angels. Allah sent us with two missions to come to you to give you some news and to go and destroy the people of Lut. So his wife heard. When she heard, she started laughing. His wife was standing. She heard the news and she laughed a little bit. Laughed in the sense that finally something is being done about the people of Lut. They were engaged in their own sin. May Allah protect us and our offspring. So Allah says when she laughed, they gave her news. They told her. Allah says we gave her good news that you are expecting a child. Remember, she could not conceive. And now they were given news. So Allah sent three angels and they went to Ibrahim alayhi salam. And after that, they were on their way to Lut. So they gave the information, the news to, to Sarah and to Ibrahim alayhi salam that look, she is now expecting and she is bearing a child who will be called Ishaq. And after that, he will also have more offspring. So that is a dua. Allah sent angels to personally tell Ibrahim alayhi salam that you made dua for offspring. Here they are as pure as can be. Subhanallah. Then Ibrahim alayhi salam, once his fear was gone, he was more worried about Lut. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, once the good news came to him, we gave him good news when he, his fear was gone. He started debating with us about Lut and the people of Lut. Like he is saying, look, maybe they will still turn. Because remember, up to that point, he had not asked for anyone to be punished, Ibrahim alayhi salam. He hadn't ever asked for anyone to be punished as such or for a nation to be destroyed. He continued making dua for them. And that was also one of his characteristics. He continued praying for them. So he was debating. He was saying, look, but you are going to Lut. Why don't you give them a bit of time? And you know what? There's a man in there. If you are going to destroy all of them, Lut is from amongst them. Don't you know that? So they said, look, oh, Ibrahim, let's not talk about that. You just turn away from that discussion because it is the instruction of Allah that they will be destroyed and that punishment will come and it is not going to be reversed done so he was reassured that Lut would be saved and he was reassured that the people who had believed would be saved and then he had bidded farewell to these particular angels 
and they left in their own way. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. هل أداك حديث ضيف إبراهيم المكرمين إذ دخلوا عليه فقالوا سلاما قال سلام قوم منكرون فراغ إلى أهله فجاء بعجل سمين فقربه إليهم قال ألا تأكلون فأوجس منهم خيفة قالوا لا تخف وبشروه بغلام عليم فأقبلت امرأته في صرة فصكت وجهها وقالت عجوز عقيم قالوا كذلك قال ربك إنه هو الحكيم العليم قال فما خطبكم أيها المرسلون قالوا إنا أرسلنا إلى قوم مجرمين لنرسل عليهم حجارة من طين مسومة عند ربك للمسرفين فأخرجنا من كان فيها من المؤمنين فما وجدنا فيها غير بيت من المسلمين وتركنا فيها آية للذين يخافون العذاب الأليم وفي موسى إذ أرسلناه إلى فرعون بسلطان مبين فتولى بركنه وقال ساحر أو مجنون فأخذناه وجنوده فنبذناهم في اليم وهو مليم وفي عاد إذ أرسلنا عليهم الريح العقيم ما تذر من شيء أتت عليه إلا جعلته كرميم وفي ثمود إذ قيل لهم تمتعوا حتى حين فاعتوا عن أمر ربهم فأخذتهم الصاعقة وهم ينظرون فما استطاعوا من قيام وما كانوا منتصرين وقوم نوح من قبل إنهم كانوا قوما فاسقين والسماء بنيناها بأيد وإنا لموسعون والأرض فرشناها فنعم الماهدون ومن كل شيء خلقنا زوجين لعلكم تذكرون ففروا إلى الله إني لكم منه نذير مبين ولا تجعلوا مع الله إلها آخر إني لكم منه نذير مبين 